Hey guys, welcome back. Um, before I get started on the next set of videos, which is to uh, optimize the, the, the Bethesda textures, I want to talk real quick about um, an error that I made in the last video. It's not a huge deal, but if you want to actually get your Skyrim back to vanilla state in, in the vanilla profile, this guy right... Oh, I can't run that. Not Skyrim Revisited, but... but um, the vanilla profile that we have. Um, I, I did make a, an, an error, and the error that I made was with the, right here, with the Dongard ESM file. Okay, um, And I tried to correct it with text, but sometimes it's not quite so easy to, to follow what I'm saying and the, and the text at the same time, so I just wanted to make sure everybody's aware. Your Dongard ESM should be 24,470 kilobytes. Okay, the mistake that I made because when I ran, when you, when you clean Dawn Guard, you have to clean it twice, right? And so I cleaned it, and then I shut down and saved, which created a backup file. And then I reloaded again, loaded it back up again, and cleaned it again. But if you guys followed along, and you ended up with two backup files the way that I did, close that down. Um, so if we went into, it's not going to be there now, but if we go into the F drive, into Mod Organizer, and into, uh, uh, there's not even a backup file folder at this point. All right, or the, or the overwrite folder. Yeah, there it is. So in here there would be two two folders. Make sure you pick the one that is two twenty four thousand four hundred and seventy kilobytes. It's going to be the original one. Now the mistake I made was I took the second one, which was already partially cleaned. Um, and I stuck it back into the Skyrim folder, which, uh, if I can find it, it's here. Um, this one right here. So this original file was the wrong size. Okay, so make sure you've got the right one. If you've if you followed my instructions the way I did it, you're gonna have the wrong one here. Um, go back into your deleted folder files into your recycle bin and you should be able to pick it up out of here um, wherever it happens to be in, in here um, if worse came to worse you could re-download it from Steam uh, with a verify cache integrity um, that would also work in fact that would be all you need to do because let's see we can pull up Steam real quick uh, library you could go to Let's see, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, right click on this, and go to Properties, and then go to Local Files, and Verify Integrity of the Game Cache. Um, if you do this, actually, if I were to do that right now, it should find no differences between this and the original file. It shouldn't, anyway. But if you absolutely have to, you can go back in and re-grab this file, okay? Or this file, right here. Okay, so that's all I wanted to, to make sure. Just make sure you're using the right Dawn Guard file. But if you ended up with two and you used the wrong one like I did, uh, make sure you switch back over to the right one. Okay, so just wanted to clear that up before we get back into the next section. So uh, let's head back into it. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this episode, uh, we're going to optimize the Bethesda textures. Okay, so having just finished cleaning the Bethesda textures, the cleaning the Bethesda ESMs, we're now going to work on their textures. The purpose of this is to basically fix the textures so that they, they have a better um, compression format in relation to, to the texture function. This just makes the game basically run better because if the textures are, are efficiently compressed, the more of them will fit on your video card and uh, causes just less issues with the games, okay? Now, there's a couple ways to do this. We can do it manually using the steps in the batch files located here, which is this basically goes to the, the quick start guide. And we did parts of this. We did right up through here, I think. Um, we would have to set the, the settings, um, and we'll go through all this when, when we get to the mods. And then we have to optimize the, uh, the textures themselves. Fairly long, complicated process, okay? Which is why they have given us pre-built packages. 
and here they are, the optimized vanilla textures. Okay, so if you go look at the files, you can see we've got the base game textures for Mod Organizer, then Dawnguard, um, Dragonborn, Hearthfire, and even the, the, the DLC textures. Okay, so, yes, and we're going to start with this one, Optimized Base Game Textures for Mod Organizer Users. Let's go ahead and download that. So if you look at downloads, there we go, it's getting ready to, to download. So we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay guys, so um, we're at 16% here. If we go back to Nexus, you can see this thing is gigantic, uh, 1.3 million kilobytes. So it's going to take a little while. Um, while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get started on optimize on the rest of the files. Optimized Dawn Guard texture, optimized Dragonmore texture, optimized Hearthfire, and the high res DLC packs. Now you can see these guys are smaller up until we get to the high res texture packs, and then they're they're also large. So this is going to take a while. So let's go ahead and get these going. I'm just going to say download with manager. And then in modern organizer, it's picked up the second one. So Dragonborn, Hearthfire, DLC 1, DLC 2, and DLC 3. We do not need the reduced optimized textures. Okay, so these should all be In there, so we got the base game, Dawn Guard, Dragonborn, uh, Hearthfire is already done because it's tiny. Um, DLC one, DLC two, DLC three. Okay, so I'm gonna let those go ahead and go, um, and when when they're finished, we'll come back. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, so um, we're almost done here. We've downloaded all the the optimized textures that we needed. So it just says double click to install, which according to our instructions, it says download and install. So we will do as they request. Um, let's hit OK. And we'll let those install. I'll take a minute for that first one. There you go. OK, it's asking me if I want to um, unpack the BSA. I'm going to say no. Okay, we'll switch over to my Dongar textures. Hit OK. Let that install. Dragonborn. Okay. Hearthfire. Okay. Res DLC. Okay. That'll take a minute. Uh, DLC part two. And finally, the third one, part three. Okay. And no. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, we'll ignore that for the moment. I don't really know what's going on with the version number. Okay, let's go back to our web page, wherever that is. Okay, so yeah, all we got to do is. is uh, Organize these into the correct order. So vanilla textures on top, uh, Dawn Guard textures second after Dawn Guard, optimized Dragonborn textures after Dragonborn, Dragonborn, um, Hearthfire after Hearthfire, and DLC one, DLC two, 
DLC 3. Let's make sure we're in the right order. Clean vanilla, then Skyrim extender. So vanilla, Dawn Guard, Hoffer. Yep, looks good. So let's make sure we turn these on. And there you go, guys. Should be good. Yep, very nice. Okay, um, just to make sure everything's working okay, let's run that. Select a new game. Of course, we're not going to know until we can see something on the screen, are we? As we fade into consciousness it looks good everything's is working fine okay guys um i think what i'm gonna do here is we're, we're, we're quickly reaching a point where okay, let's close that down um we're quickly reaching a point where uh we're gonna be installing mods so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play through this intro sequence until the point where we reach um the exit from the first cave and I'll save the game there so we can load that game um, to check out any changes that we need to change because this this intro sequence doesn't really help us a lot in that respect. So yeah, so the next time we, we run the game, I'll just load from from our little testing point. Okay, but for now, I think we should be done. So very nice. Okay, so in the next one, we'll start up the ENB series graphics modification, which is just a quick little thing to set up the ENB. We won't quite finish it, but we'll... we'll We'll get close, do some INI &I tweaks, and then we'll be ready to start the, the patching, or the, the mods, really. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.